you know, when I get up in the morning, it's, it, I don't know where I'm at sometimes. And, and it's the Agent Orange eating on my brain. Leo Higdon served in Vietnam in 1967 and 1968. He was a member of the Special Forces. He says what happened over there will stay with him forever. What really, for me, gets bad is the memories of watching buddies die in Vietnam. You know, we were at, you'd be out there by yourself sometimes and it couldn't get any help. You know, you did what you could, but I wasn't a medic. He says for him, the reaction from his experience was immediate. He says the moment he stepped onto American soil at the airport, he was prepared to keep defending himself. I went down and then I loaded my weapon up and I was going to blow some people away because I didn't like what they were doing to the other vets coming back. And I was dead serious about it, but I walked for over a mile. No one messed with me. So I didn't see that that was going to be any good. And it's memories like those that Higdon says drove him to get help in the form of a service dog and therapy. 26% of suicides are veterans over the age of 60. Angie Pratt with Soldier on Service Dogs says suicide among veterans is a national problem. Statistics from the Department of Veterans Affairs show 22 veterans a day commit suicide. Pratt says that number isn't even close to correct. It only includes 21 different states, so that means that there are 29 states that are not included in the statistics, and two of the states that are not included in the statistics are actually Texas and New York which are certainly two of the larger states with veteran populations. Higdon says for many of his fellow Vietnam soldiers, asking for help is the biggest roadblock. It's not like we can leave it alone either. You know, we don't talk about it because we don't want to look like we're, you know, going off the rock or anything, but it's there in every one of us, I'll guarantee you. He says despite the medals, he keeps with him at all times and the bracelet woven in Vietnam's colors. It's still a struggle getting past his past. In Northwest Arkansas, Ellen Thals, Fife News.